And it's time for some Hurricanes football here as we get you ready on Hurricanes game day. Game day indeed at Hard Rock Stadium. Yeah, Virginia in town to take on 11th ranked Miami. We're ready for some U oh, football. Yeah, we're ready to, we're yes, ready to rep yes. the U here at Hurricanes game day. As always, with the gentleman to my left and right, Michael Barrow, the great Kane, and Josh Darrow, of course, getting you ready for the game today. And guys, it is a game where Miami enters in with some momentum. We talk so much over the first few weeks of the season that these are the games you have to win. These key ACC matchups that maybe aren't the elite teams or the highly ranked teams, but they're the teams on your schedule that's the next step in the process. And Michael, when you look at Virginia, this is the old uh, kind of trap game. You beat Pittsburgh. You took care of business. Wasn't always pretty, but you did it. You've got a bye week and then a team that enters today ranked on a Friday night. So how do you avoid that whole trap scenario and play your style of game and get a win today? Yeah, no doubt, man. You said it correct. This is definitely a trap game that we got to be conscious of. When you look at uh, last year, how we approached it, one thing that I was concerned about is that we played to the level of our opponent. When mm -hmm. we play somebody good like Florida, we play uh, you know, great, but then we play somebody a little bit lower, then we play to that level, and you can't afford to do that. When I was at Miami and under Jimmy Johnson, you know, when Florida State week, Notre Dame week, that was easy to prepare for. But our hardest practices or hardest weeks was when we played like the Dukes, the homecoming games, the teams that we're supposed to dominate, man. He would be extra hard on us. And I mean, he would try to kill us in practice. And that's the thing that I like about Manny Diaz, how he's saying, hey, this is the most important game of the week. And it's just about this week. It's not looking ahead. It's not looking behind. It's treating every game like it's important, right, that you got to go out there and do it. So I'm curious to see how that pans out because it's one thing to talk about it, but it's another thing you got to show up and show out and go out there and do it and get it done. Yeah, you mentioned homecoming too. There's always the excitement of that when you've got homecoming. And it's different. Look, we live in a different world. While we've talked about the, the difference in getting up for games and not having the fans there. But, Josh, when I was going over the notes for the show last night, I thought of some of the things you've said because you have – Harped on it like Michael did right now, that it's easy to get up for the big games, but it is these games that we know the last few years has given the University of Miami football program troubles, and this is the kind of game they need to avoid that, that faltering, that trap, that fall down, that kind of changes a lot of times the course of where their season goes. So it's pretty simple, right? This is where you count on your leadership, okay? And here's the other thing for Miami this week. I think last week against Pitt, it was about resiliency, right? It was coming back off of a loss, that mental toughness. This week, it's about maturity. Right? Can you handle success? Can you handle this game? Can you handle this moment? And here's the thing. I talked to three different coaches on the Miami staff on both offense and defense, and here's what they said about Virginia. All of them said the same thing. How tough they play, how hard they play, they won't be scared, they won't be intimidated. Remember, they, they're the uh, reigning ACC Coastal Champs. Bronco Mendenhall has been there now four or five years. He's instilled a culture in that team. So if Miami doesn't come ready to play, if they're hung up on their quarterback's hurt or they're one in three, guess what? Guess what's going to happen? It's going to be a really hard football game. We know the weather's not good out today, so you just never know. So the mindset has got to be focused. They got to be locked in, and they got to match Virginia's intensity, mm -hmm. their discipline, and how hard how hard they're going to play. Because Virginia is not going to be scared, and they're not going to be intimidated, and they're not going to back down. Yeah, and Michael, to his point, too, is that you know what you're going to get. As all teams, when they face Miami, they want to beat Miami. It doesn't matter what Miami's record is, and obviously Miami has a good record. But the setup for the rest of the season is interesting because this game, again, can take you a lot of directions. 5-1 and one, heading into a bye sounds a whole lot better than 4-2. and two. Uh, So the setup and the way the season lines up, this is a big part of that process as well. No doubt, no doubt, Well said. I love what Josh said earlier, man. We got to take care of business, man. We got to understand what at stake. You can't afford to look ahead. You can't. Just because we got that you on the on side of the helmet means nothing. Every day, every time we step on the field, we got to go earn it. And that's what they got to do today. Guys got to show up. When you talk about leadership from the player standpoint, this is where leadership need to stand up. This is where they need to say all hands on deck. Let's go take care of business. Because if we take care of business, hey, 5-1 and one looking sweet, man, on that bye week, man, it's, it's your your you're controlling your own destiny, and that's what we got to do. That's what the U's got to do today, and that's what we expect them to do. We'll tell you why, though, we expect them to do that over the course of the next couple of hours. We'll be here at Hurricanes Game Day alongside Josh Darrell and Michael Barrow. I'm Will Man, so we're getting you ready for the Canes UVA. A little homecoming, a little U style. We're ready to go. We've got some of the uh, look back at the victory last week against Pitt and much more coming your way. Keep it right here on Hurricanes Game Day. As one of the most